Hi everyone, this is Marina from Frocks and Frolics and it's the fourth installment of our series from Fibre to Fabrics and this time we're going to look at yarns. Very quick look, not very long. So let's have a look at wool and see how that's done. Wool is first shorn off and when something is shorn off, an animal which doesn't wash well obviously it's going to be like very very dirty is you need to actually wash and we call this scouring it's actually being washed in warm water and soap and you need to get rid of the lanolin as well that's in there so you need to make it fairly clean but not too hot the water because then the scales of the wool would just fuse with each other and you get like a felt that you can't do anything with and once that's all washed just like human hair it'll be like all over the shop it won't be glossy and lovely it will be really really messy so what we do we use a wide zinc comb to comb it first right to get it like into a state where you can then work with it and when it comes to wool that process is done with something that looks like a huge nails coming out of um, this instrument and this is called carding it will be clean it will be streamlined and you have combed it but you might find just like human hair it needs the special touch it's not quite there and um, what you do is you take a brush and you roll it over that round brush until it's all lying nice and flat and it's smooth and shiny and beautiful and the same thing that you do to your hair also happens when you process wool you put it through these rollers obviously this is like one that you use in school to demonstrate it it's a very large machine you just fling on your wool and it'll just keep going round and round and round and at the other end it's all collected in big tubs and that's called roving so we have a process here from raw dirty greasy sheep wool then it's cleaned then it's carded and then it's yarn ah but we have kind of left out here on this one all that combing we have to do the more you comb it the finer the wool is that comes out at the other end into the roving and the more it's twisted the more you get a fabric that will be called worsted. So worsted yarns or the worsting means that you get a really smooth surface by making the individual fibers really, really smooth and by twisting them quite hardly. If you don't do that and it's just carded and it's a little bit combed but not too much and it's then spun into a yarn, you get a woolen fabric. And that doesn't mean that the woolen fabric is less good than the worsted fabric. They are just different qualities. They look different, they feel different. So we've got tweeds, which is a woolen fabric. What's important to understand is that a woolen fabric can come from the same sheep with the same length as a worsted fabric. So let's have a look at this on a diagram. And you can clearly see how the woolen yarn has got all the fibers standing out in all manner of uh, direction that also means that it can trap a lot more warmth in it that means that a woolen coat fabric is going to be a lot warmer than a worsted yarn which is a suiting very light woolen suiting can be worn in the summer so we know when we have a synthetic fiber we've got a long filament that is never ending so a lot of these synthetic fibers though have got this beautiful quality by which you can just heat them up and then you can heat set them into any shape you like that means you can make them look like wool like acrylic does in that case they actually will cut those really long fibers maybe even mix them in with the normal wool fiber to make it a little bit more durable and also and most importantly probably cheaper now the definition of a yarn is that it's a continuous length of fiber or filament with or without twist. Now let's have a look at how we actually make these yarns. When you're looking at yarns they have got either a Z twist or an S twist and it has to be said that most 
yarns these days actually end up being a z-twist and the s-twist is a little bit looser you've got knitting yarns with an s-twist when you twist your fibers together to make a yarn it'll make it shorter and that means the more twist you put in as a yarn manufacturer the shorter the yarn will be so the more fibers you need to make that so actually it is much much more expensive filament fibers because they're endlessly long you can give them a bit of twist the same as with silk and then you get this beautiful fabrics like taffeta when you take two twisted yarns single twist yarns and you put them together you get a two ply and when you take those and you put that together with another one then you get three ply and so on and so forth so you get four ply and then eventually you get a very thick yarn sewing machine threads are usually three ply so we've got three going in the direction of an s twist and then the final twist is a z so when you get cheap sewing machine thread where the fibers are still standing out that is because it's not as highly twisted they just twisted and say oh okay this is good enough we'd rather make more money so that thread will then under duress of course rip a lot easier when you put two fibers together that enhance the yarn that's called a fiber blend and we all know that if you have a poly cotton, it's much better for ironing. It's not going to crease as easily. When you, for example, using two different fibers, cotton and elastane, like it's often done in jeans, you would want cotton on the outside. On the inside, you'll have that slightly stretchy elastane. So it needs to be totally covered and you only need a tiny little bit of that elastane and it's a tiny minute very long filament that just goes in and then the cotton is spun around it. Okay and that's called a coarse spun yarn. It's such a clever idea. You get the stretch and you get the beauty of cotton. Let's have a look at a couple of examples of yarns that I think are really nice. For example a chenille yarn. I love those. They're really cool for knitting and sometimes they're even incorporated into fabrics and you have got this pile that comes out from all sides like a hairy caterpillar and you can use that for all sorts of things i think it's quite cool i like the boucle as well boucle is basically when you have got one or two yarns which are twisted together and then you've got a third or second one depending on what you want to do that is twisted together with them but much much looser and that's how you get a boucle it looks very nice and it can also retain a lot of heat and finally we've also got another knitting yarn here which is a slip yarn which I think is really nice that's just where you just twist it really hard in between and then you leave it almost with no twist in the middle so you get a sloop yarn so if you want to be informed when you go into a shop as to what fabric to buy then you need to know what fibers are used in it um, and how th that will affect it, how the yarn is twisted together, what kind of yarn has been used in it or what bl fiber blend has been used and then you can assess the weave that's there as well and you can make an informed decision on, on what's actually right for the garment that you will be making and that is something that we're going to look at next and I hope that's really going to be exciting for you and really really interesting and I'm I'm quite excited so I will see you back either next week or the week after when we are looking at weaving fabrics. See you there. Bye bye.